This is why Ghana will win AFCON 2023. Hello and welcome to another video on the channel. Now, today's video is the AFCON 2023 predictions, specifically the group stages. As the tournament goes on, I will be doing the knockout predictions. Anyway, I will do my best to predict how it's actually going to end up. Now, Group A consists of Equatorial Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast and Nigeria. Now, the favourites for this group are between Nigeria and Ivory Coast, as, as the hosts of the city, Ivory Coast, do have a slight advantage. And with star players, you know, they've got good players like Wilfred Saho, who's doing great at Galatasaray. They've got Kessi, Sangare, Nicolas Pepe. They've got, they've got some good talents. However, it is the question of will Nigeria be able to go on top? Now, they've obviously got likes of Alex Obi, Victor Osserman, who's a great striker. I think... Ivory Coast, due to their home advantage, usually plays a good part in the beginning stage of the tournament, the first two, three games. I think Ivory Coast will be first. I think that Nigeria will come second. And between the other two, it's a bit of a mix-up. I think Equatorial Guinea will come in third, and I think Guinea-Bissau will come fourth. Now, on to Group B. Now, now this group consists of Cap Verde, Egypt... Ghana and Mozambique. Now, number one is obviously going to be Ghana. Come on, Starboy Kudus is going to be the player of the tournament. 100% Ghana is going to come first. Not only is this just bias because I like and support Ghana, it is because they've got, I think, the overall best consistency in players, in depth. Having Kudus in attack, Thomas Partey might not be able to play due to an injury, but with the IU brothers, Andre and Jordan IU, I think they'll they'll be they'll be good. They'll show their experience in huge tournaments like the World Cup and so on. Chris Hutton as a manager is interesting. Having a European influence, I think, is important. Um, and I think that most of the good managers have managed or played in Europe. That's why Ghana will be first. Now, obviously, I think Egypt is going to be second, if not first. They have a good chance, but I feel that. With having someone as prolific as Mohamed Salah, there becomes expectations for the rest of the team. And I feel that last World Cup, they didn't really emulate that. And I feel that they will come second. I feel still that Salah will be good, but I don't know if he's going to be able to carry them on his shoulders like he's done previously. And between the other two, I'm going to go for Cap Verde third and Mozambique fourth. I know Mozambique have got the likes of um, uh, Ronaldo from Atletico Madrid, but I feel that Cap Verde have got more experience in these sort of tournaments. Okay, now group number C consists of Cameroon, Gambia, Guinea and Senegal. Now, last year, well not last year, sorry, last tournament Cameroon were the hosts and I believe they finished third. I think Senegal will win this, being the current holders of the competition. Having Idrissa Gay, Sadio Mane, Edouard Mendy, some very good players. Um, I feel that they will finish first quite comfortably. Uh, and then I feel that Cameroon will come second with Vincent Abubakar being a good goal scorer. I think that's very important. With Guinea having good players such as Girassi, who's currently doing very well in Bundesliga, I feel that they will come third. And then I think Gambia will unfortunately finish fourth. Group D consists of Algeria, Angola, Burkina Faso and Mauritania. I feel that Algeria have been blessed with a fairly easy group, if I may say so myself. Having a very disappointing last uh, African Cup of Nations um, going out in the group stages after winning it in 2019, I feel that they are going to want to bounce back and show that they are capable and they are up there. <coughs> in second place, I think Burkina Faso with... Um, Tapsoba and Traore, specifically their star players, I feel they come second. Angola third and Mauritania fourth. I feel that Angola do have some players who play Clinton Marta in the French League and I believe they have uh, people playing in the um, Syria. I feel that Mauritania have come in as underdogs in this group. Group E consists of Mali, Namibia, South Africa and Tunisia. I think most people could expect maybe Tunisia to finish first. However, I think there'll be an upset. I think Mali will win the group and I think they'll do it comfortably. Having stormed past the qualifiers, winning their group quite comfortably, I thought that they have got a good crop of players. For example, Basuma, Decore for Palace. They've got players playing in the Bundesliga. 
Dumbia, they've got a fair few good players and I think that they've got a nice quite kind of good setup rather than other African countries who've got one or two good players. I feel that they've got quite a good balance between the squad and I feel they come first and I think Tunisia will come second. I know they have um, Laduni, who plays for Union Berlin, I believe. And obviously being in the World Cup 2018, playing against you know England and Panama, I feel that they'll still be able to come second. Um, South Africa, I'm going to go with third. I think they'll miss out. I think maybe South Africa and Tunisia might battle it out a bit, but I think South Africa will finish third, having, for example, Lyle Foster from Burnley. Um, he's obviously scored a few goals now in the Premier League, and I feel he could he could try to he could be a good striker for South Africa. Namibia, I believe, will be dead last. I don't think that they'll come in with a you know I don't think they'll come in with a big shout. I feel that they'll be quite um, underwhelming in the tournament. Group F consists of Democratic Republic of Congo, Morocco, Tanzania, and Zambia. Now, I think Group F is probably the hardest group of them all. I would call it the group of death, more because a lot of the teams are even balanced. Now, some say Morocco, you know, they are the better team. However, I don't think we should write off Democratic Republic of Congo or Zambia. Uh, Zambia did very well in their group, um, winning over, over Ivory Coast in the group stage qualifiers. I feel that I think Zambia maybe, with the likes of Pats and Dakar and, and so on, could finish first. Having going so far into the World Cup, I think Morocco will finish first. And it's between Congo and Zambia, between finishing second. I think Congo will finish second, with the likes of Johan Visa, Masawaku. You know, they've got Premier League potential. And these will be kind of my, my second team. I, I, I like Congo, and I, and I hope they, they I hope they get out of the group. Now, for the play of the tournament... Most people will think maybe, you know, Salah, maybe Mane, you know, these big players. I think it will be none other than Starboy Kudus. Kudus will be the top goal scorer of AFCON 2023. He has got pace, he's a good dribbler, and I think he can take Ghana to the final. I think Mali can go very deep into the tournament. I'm talking semi-finals or even finals. I think that they've got a good, good crop of players on their hands here, and I, and I think... If they do it well, I believe I believe that they can go get to semi-finals. Now, this is coming from a fan who have basic knowledge of the African national teams. Um, it's not like I followed them specifically. I've watched the last African Cup of Nations, um, but I haven't really stayed completely into touch with all the teams. Okay, that has been all for this video. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments. Uh, and if you like the video, then obviously drop a like. And most importantly, do subscribe to the channel for more content around Ghana during this African Cup of Nations. And that's it. I have to go now, lads. Bye-bye.